Hi, uh, in this tutorial today, I will start a new tutorial for learning programming language. Okay, so the tutorial today is uh, ASP.NET Web Form and Entity Framework Learning by Jumbo Project and Project EVS side. Okay, so in the first day, I will talk about the database diagram we will be using for this project. We have some table username which contains the, the username and password for the user in the system. We have another table e, uh, product and category and we contain the information for product in the system. And another table we call it the news. We contain some of the uh, information of the website. And contact us with table we allow the user to submit the uh, the question or some Q&A to the admin side. And the last one we have order and order detail table which will store the information uh, for the user when they do the uh, buying the product in the website and submit to the site admin or something like that. Okay, so now in the first day, I would like to show you how to create the show table by using the SQL Server. Okay, let's get started. And now I will open the SQL Server. And this version here I'm using is the 2014. Okay, so the 2014, I will create a new database. Uh, for now, I'm assuming you guys already know how to use the SQL Server for your project. Okay, so basically, I already have some the another tutorial for learning SQL Server. So if you don't know much more of the information on on this uh, technology, so you can uh, access it to my YouTube channel channel and find it for the SQL Server learning. Okay. So now I could win right click on the database folder here. I create a new database. I will name it EVSI DB. Okay, so now I will change the path. By default, it will save the database into the C driver here. And now I will, I will save it to another folder in my project. Database. Okay. Okay. Left as a thing is default. Okay, button here. Expand. We have a VSI DB at the end of the, the, the database list here. Okay, for now we have no table here, and now we go ahead to create the table in the slide. Okay, cool. And now I will create the username, username table first, user table first, and next we can create the contact earth news category product order and order detail. Okay, let's get started following my video here. user ID, username and password so user ID should be the primary key and it should be integer I will select it is identify specification yes so the username ID will be in auto encrypt. I will save it in the user. Okay. Close this one and refresh. Yeah. So after that, you can see here we have a user table has been added into the database. 
expand this one we can see so we have some column in the in this table user id username and password as well okay so now go ahead to create another table and i will create the contact earth we have id name email phone and content content we should have it here because it's it because the the content it will because in the sequence server we have another keyword the same here content so we should include it here and watch ID should be primary key okay our news We have new ID, user ID, new ID, title, short evolution. image. And now you can see here the new ID is a primary key and we have another user ID inside this table. So it should be the foreign key from the G table to the user table. Okay. News. So the user ID here, we should select the same, the same uh, type of the column. It should be integer title. The maximum the of the uh, n pacha here is four thousand. We can call it in pacha. Okay. So now we create the category. Okay, and product. 
product id product name image price user id and category id in this table we have two foreign key the first one is the user id is a foreign key of the user table and the category id is the foreign key of the category table too okay so Okay, finish. And now we work on creating new the table for order and other details. We have order ID order it paper time status customer name customer phone customer email customer address Okay. Order it should be the primary key. The time. Okay, the email. Oh no, over. Email. Okay, I will change it to one hundred. Same thing for the contact earth here. Should be one hundred for the for consistently. And the last one is order detail. Okay, so you can see here order detail we have. If you see here, we have two primary key. But so there is a combination primary key from the order detail and product detail. Okay. Order ID. Product ID. Price quantity. Okay. Okay, so now we can click on the database diagram and create the diagram for this database and also create some the, the relationship between table. Okay, I right click on the database diagram and click on new database diagram here. And I select own and add 
Okay, minimize this one. You can scroll up and scroll down here to make it smaller and big or bigger. Okay. I will save it look like the same here. All the the detail first. All the detail first here. Product underneath order category user. News contact Okay. Save it first. Okay, so you can see here we have some the relationship between the table. We have the username, user first with the product. I will drop and drop it here. Okay, okay. The same thing we have the user and news table. Okay, and the order and order detail, order ID, product ID, category ID. Category uh. Okay, so I think it we finished had been finished. Okay, so you can see here we have just finished creating some the table for this project and I hope this video will have fun for you and after you finish this video is the first, is the first day of the, this tutorial and you know how to create a table in the sequence server by using the sequence server manager uh, management studio tool and currently we are using the version for sequence server is 2014 so you are able to you are, you, you are another version of older or newer version of the this tool for creating the database okay hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you see any issue bye bye see you later in another in another video later bye bye